How's it going everyone? We're here to check in the skins that made it this week and this week is a special week for several reasons Not just because we actually got a couple extra skins uh, There's actually 12 uh, no, sorry 10 in the limited store. So it's two extra skins. We also have a brand new building skin so first off we've got some Pirate high qual for you. That's right. The pirate set is here. You can pick it up for 99 cents each So just under two bucks the usual high qual price nothing extra stacked onto this one, which is really nice As you can see the whole thing is still a nice little design with the map stretched off across the metal You can see bits and pieces of the old treasure map still and There you have it Next up, we've got a special little small box for you. It is the Primitive Crate. This one will run you $1.99, so 50 cents more than the usual deployable price. And that's probably because it's a pretty easy to hide thing. Uh, it's just one of those things that looks like something from Rust, so you can honestly stick it in a bush or something. Someone might not second guess it. Or they might go straight for it because it looks like a loot container. I don't know. One way or another, always cool to see things that look like something that is in rust and this has been a cool collection a lot of people seem to like next we've got ourselves a no mercy large box as you can see here it's got everything from the set that nice sleek black and white look with the silver skull or platinum skull whatever you want to call it i think it's more silvery than anything else but uh there you go you've got that uh, skull with the wings and everything that you can expect along the sides with it there this one will run you $2.49, a dollar more than the usual, and uh, most likely because it is a very high-priced set. Next, we've got something very out of the norm for you guys. It looks like Hulk decided to uh, pull the barricades out of the not supported. I, I don't know. We'll just have to see. Uh, but, hey, here we go. We've got an Adobe Barricade for you. You can pick it up for the usual deployable price of $149, and it matches right in with the Adobe nicely. Speaking of matching in with the container skin popping in this week, we've got a container garage door to go along with it. This one will run you $249, so it is a dollar more than usual to kind of go along there with the whole Adobe thing. Adobe shipping container thing. Man, my brain <laughs> just went uh, back to Adobe because that's what you're just talking about. But there you have that there. And then, of course, is there any glow this week? There isn't. Very strange. Next, we've got our weapons for you, and starting off, we've got a double barrel shotgun, and this one is the nuclear missile silo one. So there you go, the NMS, and uh, you can see it actually kind of looks like it's made out of materials from down there. You've got like a little view screen aiming down the side, so you can kind of see the other one that says ready, and then you've got your little radiation symbols right there. We can go ahead and pop a reload, and we'll aim down the sides one more time there for you. Next, we've got a continuation in the low poly set with the Python. So the low poly Python will run you the usual 199 weapon price. Even down the sides, you've got a kind of brown versus the gray there, but it kind of changes color depending on how the light hits it. One way or another, it's a good way to tell the difference between the two for the sight there. And there's our reload. Next, we've got a continuation what, well, is one piece away from becoming a set of the high-qual guns. So here you go. You've got the high-quality metal star. This one will run you $2.49, 50 cents more than usual. Aiming down the sights here, you've got very bright, high-qual sights. You can see the tip kind of is a little bit darker, so that helps a bit. It could be just the shading. I don't know, but one way or another, it kind of universally stays a bit darker, which I think is nice. And we'll go ahead and pop a reload for you there last but not least we have an LR and this one's on the very bright colored side this one here is the riot LR this will run you the usual 199 weapons price and it just kind of has a really nice neon kind of punkish feel to it aiming down the sides you've got that very neon green versus the kind of faded sights with kind of uh, faded light gray to the tips there you can see and a skull stern back at you with some cross eyes there's that reload, and that does it. So sound off down in the comment section below, guys. No, wait, that's not it, right? We got something special for you, and that is the shipping container skin. So let's go ahead and check that out. 
All right, so the container skin is the newest skin that has popped in, and uh, it is for the sheet metal building tier. And as you can see, it comes in many, many different colors, as you can see here, and uh, it's actually 16 colors to be exact. And uh, yeah, so it's the new building tier. You can make your whole house the same color if you want. You just pull out a spray can and boom, there's your color wheel. And uh, yeah, you can say, you know, uh, let's make everything, you know, green. And you can start going ahead and doing that. And uh, it's a really cool kind of idea. Uh, I know a lot of people now hope the Adobe skin would have gotten some other shades maybe. But uh, I'm just excited to hope uh, other skins have a similar concept in the future. But I want to go ahead and show you each individual piece over here. So you'll see basically a foundation. Then you can take a look at the walls. Take a look at the back of them, or inside, whatever you may want to call it. As you can see, it now picks up the color a little bit, which is much nicer than what it used to look like before. Then, of course, we have the stairwells, which you can see they pick up the color on the sides and on the uh, sides of the steps. Roof is the color on the outside. You got the ramp. Ramp doesn't pick up too much color, really just kind of on the side, and that's about it. And then you've got the foundation stairs, which is pretty much the same as the other stairs. And then we've got our little triangles. So there we go. And then I figured what we'd do is pick something and uh, kind of go over each color. I think this roof has a nice little angle of light on it. So we'll just kind of go ahead and cycle through. Whoops, <laughs> we just graffiti on it, that's funny. Uh, there we go. Definitely like that red. That orange also looks nice and rusty right here, this one. And there we go, back to the default color. So there you have it, everyone. Uh, that is the shipping container building skin. One other thing, they've changed how you do the upgrades to it. So if you go ahead and look at a foundation here, and you go to sheet metal you see there's a q and e so this is how you can switch to it so by default it should be on sheet metal to switch to use the shipping container you simply hit q or e you can change these keys in the settings of course and boom you're now set to do that so boom 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 all right everyone that does it sound off in the comment section below and let me know how you feel about it thanks for watching and we'll see you next time